long time no post. It's been forever since I've posted a video and really, really forever since I have filmed in this room and posted a video onto my YouTube. Um, I'm really sorry about not posting as often as I should be or as often as I used to. Really, the reason why I've been gone isn't something special. It's just been taking me a lot longer than I thought it would to adjust to life living out here. Um, I got a new job and the hours are a lot and pretty late at night so during the day I sleep and I catch up on things that I haven't been able to do at night. And then during my time off I really want to spend it with my boyfriend because um, he's got a 9 to 5 and I pretty much have a 5 to 1 job so trying to see him and spend time with him is pretty important during my time off. So anyway it's long-winded and it's boring, but really it's just been about kind of finding a balance in my life. And I'm really excited to fit YouTube back into my life now. So this video is going to kick off me getting back in and starting to make videos more regularly. Um, before I get into the video, I'm going to address the question I'm sure a lot of you are sitting there thinking, which is, did she really do that? Um, yes, I did. I cut my hair. My hair is really, really short now. It used to be about down to here, so you could see how much hair I really did cut off. I cut it just down slightly below my collarbone, and I like it, although sometimes I still look at myself in the mirror and go, oh my gosh, I look like a boy. Like, I haven't really gotten used to it yet, but let me know if you like it in the comment section down below, because I'm still not sure, although I kind of have to live with it now, so I better get to liking it. Anyway, now that that whole intro is done, I'm going to get into the video. This video is going to be the spring things tag, which is pretty much just a whole bunch of questions about my favorites for spring. So if you would like to hear the answers to those questions, then keep on watching. Okay, so the first question or category is name your top makeup, no, name your top 10 makeup products for spring. So, in springtime, I like to wear my eyes very, very neutral. I don't do smokies or I don't really go crazy. So I really like the Naked palette. It is a really, really nice palette. It's my most expensive makeup product I own, so don't think I own a lot of this. And I really like it and would buy it again, which is saying a lot. I use it probably every single day. It's got every single color you would ever need to create a really nice neutral look. Next, I will do, I guess I've got a couple more eye products. This one is the L'Oreal uh, Carbon Black Linear Intense Felt Tip Liquid Liner. Um, I really like liquid liners for spring. Again, they're very clean. You can wear very minimal eye makeup and put on a liquid liner and your eyes just look so much more put together and like you put in a bit more effort than just kind of sweeping across a neutral eye shadow color. The next eye product is the MAC Opulash in Optimum Black. I like big full lashes at any time during the year but specifically in spring and summer when I don't wear a lot of eyeshadow I really like to amp up the lashes and this is my all-time favorite um, mascara for that. So next I'll move on to lip colors. Um, I've got these three and they are all Revlon lip butters which feel really nice on the lips They're not too heavy and I really really like them. I also really like how they wear off So as opposed to a lipstick where it might wear off a little bit more unevenly so that it's kind of darker on the outside of your lips and Wears off faster on the inside and it doesn't look as nice. This wears off more like a balm So I really like that um, my favorite is, out of the bunch is this one which is lollipop which is a really really pretty purple based pink and I've gotten so many um, compliments whenever I wear this and I absolutely love this color. The next one I'm wearing today and this is in sugar frosting which is number five. It is really really pretty and pale and a perfect color to just wear all the time. If you don't want your pale to be more beigey and you'd rather be more pink I really really like this one. And then the last one for spring that I really like is at number 35 in Candy Apple. This one is like a orange red coral color and coral is huge in spring and is definitely more of a summer and spring way to wear a red lip and I really really like this one a lot. It's not too harsh so you can wear this to school, you can wear this to work, you can wear it anywhere and you don't look too vamped up. It's a very casual red. Next I've got two lip glosses. The first one is also by Revlon and it is in number 180 Pink Pop. It is the Revlon Super Lustrous Lip Gloss um, and it has SPF 15 in it which is great. It is this color right here and I really really like this color. It looks 
really perfect over lollipop and these two colors are definitely my favorites for spring I absolutely love them and they really complement each other very very well wearing them together and the last one that I love for lip color is by Sephora and this one is just one of their lip glosses unfortunately the color is gone I think it was bubble it was something about bubblegum or maybe a princess pout. If you watch one of some of my previous videos, I think I've talked about this lip gloss before. Um, but it's just a very, very pretty bubblegum pink. I'm wearing that over sugar frosting today. And it's just a really great spring color. Um, as you can tell, five out of the ten of my picks were lip products. I could have picked all ten lip products. In spring, I really like doing fun things with the lips and keeping my eyes very neutral and very the same throughout the entire season. Um, so you wouldn't get bored with lip colors. I chose a couple um, face products and they are all shimmers. So this one is by Love and Beauty and it is the Forever 21 line. It's got cheetah on the top if you're um, wondering what it looks like. And this one is just a loose gold color. Um, really, really pretty. I like dusting this along my cheekbones. I like using it as an eyeshadow. It's really versatile and I think that a bit of shimmer in the springtime is a really, really pretty look. And last but not least to round out my 10, I've got the MAC Luster Drops. I've talked about this so many times. This is in Pink Rebel. And these are great, again, to give shimmer onto your cheekbones, down the bridge of your nose, on your cupid's bow. So I really, really love the MAC Luster Drops and think they're perfect for spring. Um, what are some of the things that you are looking forward to this season? Um, I don't know if that's beauty things or fashion things, so I guess I'll just talk about things in my life as well as fashion and beauty maybe. Um, I love heat, I love hot weather, um, and I really hate wearing tons and tons of layers. So I'm really excited to just be able to wear my cute spring and summer clothes again. I'm excited to not have to worry about bundling up because Canadian winters can get bad, although this winter wasn't as bad as most. It's still winter and it's still cold. And I'm one of those people who really my mood really depends on the sun so I find I'm in a much happier and sunnier and more cheerful mood when um, it's sunny outside so I really am looking forward to it being sunny more days than not and for there to be leaves on the trees again and flowers blooming and all of that fun stuff I'm really just kind of excited for it all and for the weather to change and for my fashion and makeup to change with it um, what are some nail polishes you reach for during spring Good question because I like spring polishes a lot more than any other season. This one's kind of more of a summer color, but neons are really in the spring, so I'm going to mention it. This is Shocking Pink by China Glaze. It is a really beautiful color, and the camera doesn't really do it justice, just how pink it is. It is really, really bright. So this is definitely one of the colors I reach for a lot in spring and in summertime. Another pink I really like is just a really soft, pretty pink. This one is by Finger Paints, and it's in the color Brush Stroke Blush. Really, really pretty pink, just a very soft baby pink and perfect for spring. Um, and then next I've got some blues. I've got four different blues here that I really like wearing. So I'll go through my Essie polishes first. Um, the first is Mint Candy Apple. So many of you have seen this, so I'm not really going to go into it. And the second one is Turquoise and Caicos. Again, a very popular color. Turquoise and Caicos is more green and a little bit darker than Mint Candy Apple, which is a little bit more of like a robin's egg blue um, and definitely a lighter, more pastel-y color. But both are really, really nice for springtime. Um, and then I've got two Sally Hansen colors. The first is Blue Away. You can see this one in comparison to Mint Candy Apple. Mint Candy Apple is a little lighter and more green than this Blue Away. This one is more of a true baby blue and I really, really like it a lot. And then the last color is Sally Hansen's um, Extreme Wear color in Pacific Blue. This is just a really gorgeous color. If you want something a little bit more bright and funky and not so pastel-y, I really, really like this color. Um, it's a blue, but it's kind of got more of a creamy look to it as opposed to a really true blue. It's like a creamy blue, and I really, really like that. It's really the only way I can explain it. It's more of a creamy color and not so true blue. So I think that this is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. Um, what are some of the fashion and beauty trends you are going to rock? So 
For fashion trends, I am still looking for a maxi skirt, either a maxi or a midi. The mini skirts are really out this season and a lot of my skirts I'm finding are just too short. They just look far too short. So I'm looking for a really good um, maxi skirt that's sheer or a midi skirt. Uh, and the middies are the ones that kind of go around the knee length and they're really really pretty if you haven't seen um, any great maxi skirts I will link some of my favorite fashion blogs with some great maxi skirts or midi skirts um, in the comment section or in the uh, info bar down below so you can see what I'm talking about but definitely maxis and midis um, I'm also excited for the color of the season which is like a tangerine color the tangerine is really really pretty and I think it's gonna look great with a tan and I guess the last thing I'm just really excited about is kind of that ethereal look of spring wearing very baby pinks baby blues baby yellows like I'm wearing today I just think it's a very pretty and feminine to wear those kind of colors and I'm really excited to bring more of them into my wardrobe. So those are the things I'd probably be most excited about for fashion. For beauty, um, I'm actually not as big into beauty in the spring as I am fashion uh, because I like to keep it simple but really what I'm most excited about rocking is that pink lip I already showed you with lollipop which is the Revlon butter lip butter and um, uh, that pink what was it called again? Pink Pop um, Lip Gloss. Uh, just a really hot pink lip I think is so cute. It's very, very in. I also really like coral lips for spring. So more of an orangey lip or a bright pink lip I like a lot. Definitely playing up the lips and minimizing the eyes. I'm really excited about that for spring. Um, favorite spring accessories. So I've got a couple here. The first are a whole bunch of bohemian bracelets. So I've got a set of bracelets here that I would wear together and I think would look really, really pretty. So here's a set of them that I would wear together that I think is really pretty. So this one is like really pretty aqua. Uh, I got this one when I was in London, England. This one is like a faux Tiffany's. If you have the real thing, then that's great, but I don't. So I really like this one. Um, this one is like a braided one. It's kind of, it feels like suede or leather it's made of, but I don't think it's real. And I got this at a um, street sale in my town. This one I also got from London. This one was from Primark while I was there. Um, this is from H&M last season. It's like a pink and purple rope with uh, little dangly pieces on it. And then this last one is red and this one was also from a little boutique in London. So all of them worn together, I'll show you again, would just look really, really pretty, very bohemian and very fun. And it's been kind of the trend for a few years consecutively to wear something like this. And I think it's really, really pretty. So something like that with just a really pretty white t-shirt, pair of distressed jeans, and your hair up in a crazy little bun would look adorable. So I really, really like the bohemian bracelet look. I also like things that are a little bit more poppy and a little bit more graphic because graphic prints are really in. So instead of getting a graphic print t-shirt, um, I got a bracelet. So this one is a bangle. It's from Forever 21. I believe it was only $4.80. And you can see the really crazy colors on there. The hot fuchsia, the orange, the little bits of yellow, gold, the blue, the black. I really really like this and last but not least I'm addicted to aviators especially in the spring I wear them in the winter but I can't get away with it nearly as well in the winter as I can in the spring these ones were from London when I was there and they are brown and they've got a little bit of um, leopard print along the side I really like them it's hard for me to find aviators that suit my face shape so these ones I really liked and then these ones were from Primark, again, in London, and they are little heart-shaped ones. Um, these ones don't suit my face shape as much, but I just really think that they're super, super girly and And cute. last but not least, because this video is getting super, super long, um, my favorite spring scent, I have one, and it is this one. Um, I absolutely love this. This is the Gautier um, perfume. I forget what it's called, and I don't know if it says it on here. It just says um, Jean-Paul Gaultier, Eau de Toilette. So maybe he only has one, um, but it looks like this with a girl with a corset on, and the corset does up in the back. And it smells exactly like flowers. It smells like a big bouquet of flowers. It's very, very floral. So if you kind of get overwhelmed by floral scents, then this one I think would overwhelm you. In the winter, 
when I, I got it for Christmas. I liked it. I knew I liked it, but I didn't really appreciate it until springtime hit and I realized how much I love this scent. It is just the perfect spring scent. So I really, really like this one. So that's it. That was the spring things tag. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm, I'm going to leave some specific people that I'm going to tag down below. Um, but I really do just tag anyone at all who follows me um, and who is watching this video, who wants to film it as well. Um, I tag you and please leave it as a video response to this because I'd love to know what your spring things are. Um, I think that's it for my video. Again, follow me on Twitter at Jessica B. Closet to stay more up to date with me and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys!